standing 10 feet tall and weighing 7 tons. The African elephant is the largest of all animals on land. They can be found throughout 37 countries in Africa, inhabiting the woodlands and the savannas. In Florida, however, you can find African elephants in only five places within the state. Zoo Tampa, Jacksonville Zoo, Zoo Miami, Mayaca City Elephant Ranch and Conservation Center, and Disney's Animal Kingdom. Probably the most recognizable feature you'll find on an elephant is its trunk. This combination of a nose and upper lip contains 40,000 muscles. That's over 60 times more than the entire human body. As well as being able to pick up smells from 12 miles away, an elephant's trunk is also a multi-purpose tool. With its two trunk fingers, it can pick up things like a coin or a leaf. It can stretch out its trunk nearly 18 feet above the ground to grab leaves off branches and can even lift objects that weigh over 700 pounds. Elephants also use their trunks to drink water. They do this by sucking about two and a half gallons of water into their trunk before squirting it down their throat. It sure beats having to bend down to get a drink. And an elephant can drink up to 20 gallons of water a day. To protect their skin, elephants will sometimes spray water, mud, dust, and sand to help them stay cool and to keep the biting insects away. If all else fails, there is no stopping an elephant from going for a swim, always keeping their trunks above water whenever they go deep. That's another use for an elephant's trunk. It's a built-in snorkel. The African elephant's ears can be up to 5 feet wide and do resemble the shape of Africa. Bull elephants will sometimes fully splay out their ears to intimidate rivals to establish their prowess and their confidence. Those ears not only make an elephant look cool, but also helps them to keep cool. When an elephant's body temperature gets high, it will pump blood from its body all the way up to the veins that you can see at the edge of its ears. Then the elephant will begin flapping them like a twin set of fans, causing cool air to pass through the ears and cool the blood down before it goes right back into the body, keeping its body temperature stable. So the next time you see an elephant flapping its ears, just know it's not trying to fly like Dumbo, it's just using its ear conditioning. And we can't forget about those massive tusks. In African elephants, both the bulls and the cows sport these extensive incisor teeth, sometimes reaching lengths of six feet. However, on rare occasions, 4% of female African elephants are born tuskless, like Sheena here from Jacksonville Zoo. Just like it is with our hands, elephants can be left or right tusked. These tusks are used both as weapons to defend themselves from predators and rivals, as well as tools to get the over 200 pounds of food they need every day. They can use their tusks to peel away the outer bark of trees to get to the more nutritious layers, and even knock them over completely to get to the leaves their trunks can't reach. Life for an elephant always seems to revolve around family. These social animals travel together in herds consisting of mostly related females and their young, always led by the eldest female, the matriarch. The bulls, meanwhile, will leave the herds they were born in between the ages of 12 and 15 and will either go off to live on their own or join a bachelor herd. Family ties are strong in elephants, especially between mothers and calves. Elephant mothers will raise their young for up to 10 years until they are old enough to fend for themselves. And she gets a lot of help from her sisters, cousins, and even older offspring acting as babysitters. The matriarch herself is probably the most important member of the herd. Her many years of experience and strong memory helps her sisters, daughters, and grandchildren through hard times. Whenever water is in short supply, the matriarch can lead her family to a place that she has been to before that has enough water for them all. Even if she has only been there once as a calf when her grandma was the leader of the herd. It's the wisdom that is passed down from mother to daughter and to every generation that will come after. Something very few creatures can do. Sadly, human pressures through illegal hunting and habitat fragmentation are making the future for these gentle giants uncertain. Nearly 55 elephants are killed every day by poachers just for their ivory tusks, which is then sold within the black market. This isn't only bad for the elephant population, but also for the whole of the African ecosystem. As a keystone species, elephants provide water for animals during the dry season, using their trunks to sniff out any springs that lay just beneath the soil before digging them out with both their trunks and their tusks, creating new watering holes. Without this, many animals could go extinct with the elephants. 
The increase of agriculture and livestock farming disrupts migration routes that the elephants have taken for generations. Therefore, preventing them from finding enough food to survive the hard times. This causes elephants to sometimes rake crops, which can lead to lethal conflicts between them and farmers. But as there are many problems that elephants face, there are solutions that come from the dedicated work of conservationists and wildlife federations working across the globe to help the African elephants. One example is how the Disney Conservation Fund helps to sponsor the Elephant and Bees Project in Kenya where farmers line their fences with beehives. Since elephants are afraid of bees, they will avoid the fences and venture around the fields. This not only helps the farmers to save their crops, but it also gives them an additional one in the form of honey. Mayaka Elephant Ranch's Art Exchange have visitors of all ages send the drawings they make to children in countries throughout Africa to help share their love and appreciation for elephants. And their emission fundings from their up-close encounters help to support the International Elephant Foundation. African elephants are truly an amazing animal. And getting the chance to stand in front of one is a memorable experience all to itself. As they play an important role on the African savanna, ours to help protect them is just as such. So if you're ever down here in Florida on vacation, or if you happen to live close by, be sure to visit these places and give donations to the wildlife foundations they support. Small actions such as these can help make a big difference for these wonderful creatures and the African elephant will continue to aspire and amaze us as they continue passing down their knowledge for future generations to come. Until next time, keep your wild hearts alive and see y'all in the next WMF's Animal Spotlight.